Yo, how's your butt? Boop. Yo, how's your butt today, guys? Are you going to be sad about Festering Core and Pyramidian leaving in November 10th? Are you going to be sad about Strange Terrain or possibly maybe Will of the Thousands? Hmm. hmm. Maybe actually the best strike in Destiny 2 leaving, Savathun's Song with the best voiceover and voice acting ever. How about Tree of Probabilities? Or a garden world well I'm sorry they're going away but we're also gonna get some new ones so all of those strikes come November 10th 2020 will be leaving destiny and going into the destiny content vault so there's all uh, like seven of them it's sick but we're also gonna be getting some new ones so Cosmodrome and Europa are gonna have some new ones and also we're going to be getting some ones returning from Destiny 1, which are Devil, Devil's Lair and Fallen Saber, one of the favorites from Destiny 1. So is this exciting to you? What does this mean for you? Well, it just means really the Heroic Strike playlist is going to be a lot smaller, but nobody really plays the Heroic Strike playlist anyway, at least compared to how everybody used to play it in Destiny 1. In Destiny 1, you would spend hours upon hours playing strikes over and over again they were rewarding you had skeleton keys remember those you could get exotics you could get strike specific loot from destiny one heroic strike playlist you could actually use strikes as a proper leveling unlike destiny one where as soon as you hit the soft cap strikes really don't mean much aside from this year they did add the little what are they called? Tiny goals, a small pinnacle, you know, little pinnacle. It's a plus one pinnacle for completing the strikes, but you only get one of those per character per week. Whereas in Destiny 1, you could pretty much level up all day by playing strikes all day and get strike specific loot. So hopefully, we haven't seen much of them talking about strike specific loot, but hopefully, we get a little bit more coming in to Destiny 2 come November 10th. So. Are you guys excited about these strikes leaving? Do you care at all that these strikes are leaving? Because I quite frankly don't. Now, fast forward six months from now, I may be saying, man, I really wish I could play Garden World right now. But I strongly, yeah, I'm not going to say that in six months from now. So hopefully with Devil's Lair and... Uh, the uh, fallen Staber, you know, a big old shonky boy, not a shank, he's a shonk. That's going to be fun to revisit that again. So maybe I'll feel the same way about these strikes that are leaving here, you know, three years after they left, but probably not. So hopefully with these actually leaving, Strike Players does get a little bit of an update. Because right now, it's unless you're just trying to farm Vanguard tokens for new weapons come fall there's not really much of a reason to do these strikes you can farm for tokens and it could honestly be used as a leveling technique um so i guess for now from before beyond light comes out you can farm for tokens and hopefully zavala drops gear that's on level to make your leveling super freaking easy otherwise you can just play them and just know that in a couple months you, you won't be able to play them again. You just pick them out from the director and cry because you won't be able to kill a, a Vex guy circling around you or a Cabal guy in a Vex strike. You know, how about we get some Fallen strikes back? You know, we're getting we're getting two Fallen strikes back. So, you know, Devil's Lair, Fallen Saber. So maybe we're going to have more of a Fallen type event. Huh? Maybe? I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point because for some reason I decided to cut this video longer than the voiceover. Is that interesting to you guys? What I want to know is what do you guys like what kind of ice cream do you wake up craving? Because that's really what I made this video for. This is all just a ploy. I did all this and made the thumbnail and you know edited this video and played this strike. Because um, I want to know when you wake up, like, do you ever, like, go to sleep and you wake up and you're like, man, I really want some ice cream. What kind of ice cream do you crave? Me? It's mint chocolate. No, I'm not kidding. It's not mint chocolate chip. It's actually cookies and cream. That's the best. 
delicious. Absolute be best ice cream that I've ever had in my life. You know, there's a place, you know, a chain in the States called GD Ritzy's, and they have, they call it something else. And they also probably hit their chaos reaches whenever there's not a cage around a huge minotaur. But they have some really, really thick, creamy, and juicy cookies and cream ice cream. Man, think about all the thick, creamy, and juicy NPCs in Destiny 2. Now, actually, I was really just thinking about Cosmodrome and Will of Crota and, and you know, Devil's Lair and Fallen Saber. Fallen Saber is probably the one I'm going to be most excited for. It's the first strike that I remember doing. I know I probably did some more than that in Destiny 2 or Destiny 1. I started Destiny 1 in year 2, so I remember Fallen Saber. Remember the little lightning things? And we kind of had to throw back to that in Warmind in the bunkers. Uh, with the little arc boys on the ground. So that'll be fun to revisit. With the shanks coming out of the ground. And Fallen Saber. I'm pretty excited about that. Devil's Lair should be alright. Yeah. So, yeah. But, that's it for today's video, guys. All those strikes are leaving, so play them if you care about them. And, you know, make sure you pop your Vanguard tokens before the end screen so you help you and your teammates out. Because probably the only reason you're going to be playing these four is for Vanguard tokens to get level up for Beyond Light. But guys, thanks for watching the video. My name is Peter Pumpkins. Stay tuned here for all of your pointless videos where I ask you about ice cream and your butt and stupid fake ads about Telesto that I haven't released yet because I'm really nervous about it. You guys get nervous? I get nervous when I realize that 75% of you haven't hit the subscribe the button, but it's okay. I would be too. I'll miss you guys until the next video that you click on in five seconds. Have a good bye, guys. Root mine has been neutralized. Osiris, if you had any plans for this thing that you simulated, I'm afraid there's not much of a threat. You've done well, Scotty. That corpse.